I'm going to show you how you can easily sew your own fabric bow covers. And as you can see, I have a variety of sizes here, which is exactly perfect because I can look at whichever bowls I'm using the most and what I want a bowl cover for and then measure and make it fit custom. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. I also have two different methods. I have one method that is just a single layer of fabric and I'm using that for a linen. Sometimes linen can be a little stiffer. However, I love linen because it is naturally antibacterial. And then I have another one, a reversible one that has two layers of fabric. And the first method starts at this minute and the second method starts at this minute. So you can decide which ones you want, or maybe you already know that you want a reversible one that can be especially pretty if you use a different type of fabric on the inside than on the outside, or depending on which way you want to do it. So I'm going to take you into my sewing room and show you step by step how you can make these fabric bowl covers. You need your fabric and as you can tell right here I have washed it. You want to make sure you want to wash it beforehand so if you measure anything that there is no shrinkage. Then I have some chalk here for marking. I have my elastic. You can also, this is a round one, you can also use a flat one. I have thread obviously, I have regular pins, I have safety pins, measuring tape, I have some pinking shears, the zigzag shears, regular scissors, I have a hot iron here, and I have my sewing machine. You don't need the sewing machine, absolutely, but it's going to make your job a whole lot easier. For the first bowl cover, I'm going to use this linen fabric and I want to make a bowl cover for my KitchenAid stand mixer bowl. And I use that as a template. So I will turn it upside down so I can get the measurements. And you want the fabric to, you want to cut it two inches more than your rim of the bowl. So there's several ways you can do this. One easy way is to go ahead, use your chalk and simply go all the way around. And now I have the outline of the rim of the bowl and I want to add two inches on each side. So what I can do is I can simply go ahead and Place it right here for two inches and then mark it here. And then I do that here so I can get my two inch bigger circle marked on my fabric. So now I have these little markers and I can just by hand just go like this and kind of trace that bigger circle. If you're not sure about doing this freehand, you can also make yourself a lot more markers because then it will be more exact. So now I have my circle that is two inches bigger than the rim of my bowl. I will take my pinky shears and cut it out. Now we're ready to create the channel for the elastic. And the first thing is to fold it over just about a third of the two inches here and using pins to pin it into place. And what I like to do is just go opposite and do the same here. And you'll know in a moment why I'm doing it this way. And then I'll just fill in always the opposite sides until I have a pretty good channel here. And for these 
pieces right here, I like to give it a little fold so it lies better and actually pin that little fold here. Just like so. Now we're ready to sew that into place and we want to make the channel big enough so that we can bring the elastic into it. So I am just going to go a little bit over here and I'll start with a back and forth stitch. So here is where I started and I want to leave a pretty good, maybe about a two inch, two and a half inch, three inch opening. And I'll do another back and forth stitch. I have already cut my elastic and I measured it around the rim of the bowl and then added just about a good inch or so so I can actually attach the two ends to each other but you want quite a bit of tension and now we'll put this through here with a safety pin and especially with the round elastic sometimes you have to um, work a little bit to make it go through and finding our opening we will move with the safety pin the elastic through this channel that we have sewn. And here's my end piece. So when you pull it out, you want to make sure you're not pulling the other end into your channel because then it's gonna be really hard to impossible to retrieve it. You can always use a safety pin to attach it so you're not accidentally doing it. And the smaller your bowl cover is, the harder this will be and the bigger the easier this will be so i'm pulling it through and now what i'm going to do is take the safety pin out and i will either by hand or with a machine sew these two ends together here you can see how i've sewn it together when i pull it it won't go anywhere and now all i need to do is i can cut this off too. I am pulling the elastic in there and then I will just create a seam right here to close my opening. So here is your first bowl cover. You can wash it if this bothers you, but the tailor's chalk usually comes out pretty quickly. My second bowl is a lot bigger, and that is what I usually use for my um, sourdough bread to rise, and that is a little bit bigger, So, but the process is the same. We'll place this down onto the fabric and notice that I have doubled my fabric here because we will use two pieces of fabric and then the same process we'll go around and mark the edge and then again we'll use the measuring tape to measure two inches and I'll mark two inches going around. And it's okay that we have this edge right here because that's gonna disappear. And then I create this second circle. And using my pinking shears or my zigzag shears, I will cut this out. However, because I'm using two pieces of fabric, to make sure that they're not shifting, I will pin the two 
pieces of fabric together in a few places just to make sure that there's no shift and both circles come out the same size. In my next step, I'm taking the pins out and I guess I could have done this beforehand to save a step, but I will need to put the two pieces of fabric right sides together and left sides out, so inside out. And again, I will pin them together pretty close to the edge. I've pinned them together and now I will sew a seam pretty close to the edge. And again, I'm starting with a back and forth stitch and leaving at least a two inch opening. Here's my beginning, so I will go a little further and then do my back and forth. Here's my opening, and now I will turn this outside in or inside out through the opening. You can use your fingers or you can use a long wooden spoon to make sure that it's really flat against each other. To make sure that these pieces stay really nice and flat and that the seam is very flat, I will use my hot iron and press it into place. Now back at the sewing machine, I will sew a seam right here with enough room so that I'm not actually sewing the seam allowance that's on the inside here into place, but also big enough that I can easily put my elastic in here. And I will start right here where the opening is. Finish with a back and forth stitch. Now again, I have measured my elastic to make sure that it just goes around the outer edge of my bowl with a bit of tension and I have my safety pin. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky to get this in here. And here is my opening and my channel and I will put the elastic through this channel with my safety pin. So now it's my elastic all the way through and again make sure if you make a smaller bowl cover it's really easy to lose the other end in there as you're pulling this side through so you always want to either attach it or just be really careful. And then I'm going to sew these two ends together. So here's my pieces that I've sewn together and I have pulled them in here and all I need to do now is finish this open side here. You can either just press it in place or use pins to pin it so that it looks really neat, which is what I will do. You can use your machine to do this or you can sew it by hand. And I will sew it very close to this edge here. Here's the finished product. You can see how it fits nicely over the bowl. And for all of you who are looking for a little bit more DIY and easy handmade fabric items, I have an entire playlist right here in which I'm showing you so many different things you can sew in easily a weekend that will be useful for your kitchen. Thank you so much for watching while I have a squawking bird out there and joining me, I'll see you in the next video.